Bitcoin in the general crypto sector is jumping higher in reaction to a federal appeals court which ruled that the SEC had wrongfully denied Grayscale's application to create a cryptocurrency fund that sells on stock exchanges. So this is huge news for the crypto sector. It's really like the federal government is kind of fighting back for cryptocurrency ETFs and other crypto firms out there and they're fighting against the SEC. So this kind of opens up a whole can of worms and we could see um you know a lot more ETF applications and um you know broader um adoption of the crypto sector from this ruling. So cryptocurrency prices jumped on Tuesday after the industry's largest fund manager scored a legal victory in the long running attempt to make it easier for investors to put Bitcoin in their portfolios. And what I'll do in this video is I'm going to go over the charts for you know Bitcoin, uh, Coinbase, Mara, and Riot and give a price prediction based on technical analysis for all of those and then i will also get into this recent update we got from twitter uh, about them possibly being a crypto exchange and i know that sounds kind of crazy but i'll dump i'll i'll jump into that in a second but first off let me finish this thought here so the u.s court of, of appeals for the dc circuit ruled out or excuse me ruled that this sec had improperly denied an application from the asset manager Grayscale Investments to create a Bitcoin ETF calling the rejection arbitrary. Grayscale is seeking to create the fund to give investors exposure to cryptocurrency via tra traditional brokers and markets rather than digital asset exchanges. The SEC has already approved funds that bet on Bitcoin futures or price fluctuations in the cryptocurrency market, but it has denied numerous requests for ETF holding Bitcoin itself, arguing that markets are subject to fraud and manipulation. This is a so this is a statement from Grayscale themselves. So they say this is a monumental step forward for American investors, the Bitcoin e ecosystem, and all of those who have been advocating for Bitcoin exposure. A spokesman from the SEC said it was reviewing the court decision to determine the next steps the agency has 45 days to request another review of the ruling so they may try to kind of fight this um although i don't see it as super likely um but with that being said though let's take a look at this other news event coming out of twitter so elon musk has talked about a lot how he wants to make twitter kind of a financial hub where you can you know obviously send payments and you know do various uh di different transactions through cryptocurrency and other fiat currencies um and they've they've been making firm steps to kind of actually make this a reality so we can see here that twitter payments llc has um filed for a money tr uh, transmitter license in arizona georgia maryland michigan missouri new hampshire and as a currency transmitter in Rhode Island. So this kind of opens them up to being almost a crypto exchange, weirdly. Um, so this, obviously, if Twitter was able to, you know, be its own crypto exchange, essentially, essentially well, that would really help the cryptocurrency ecosystem, right? If the, you know, one of the largest social media platforms is you know, basically at the same time, a crypto exchange, well, that would obviously be a pretty big positive, um, you know, for the general crypto sector. And I think it's a pretty interesting story, right? Um, it, it's kind of up Elon Musk, um, you know, wheelhouse, if you will, in terms of crypto, he's always been a big supporter of the crypto space. But with that being said, though, let's move into these price predictions. And let's start it off with Bitcoin. So I had been talking about this 25 thousand support level that we've had so we came down to test it on the 22nd of august we moved higher off this level we came down to test it on june 13th and we moved higher off this level um therefore i believe this 25 dollar i mean this 25k support level holds for bitcoin and we see a move higher over the coming days obviously today we moved over the 200 day moving average which is obviously a good sign for the for this cryptocurrency for bitcoin which kind of you know is um you know, leading the dance, if you will, in terms of the entire crypto sector. 
So this is great news for the crypto sector. A nice bounce off 26K definitely makes sense. We do have some resistance at around 30K. It's where Bitcoin had constantly topped out um, in the spring here. Um, so I, I do think we could see a quick move up to 30K. And then obviously if we overtake 30K, you know, um, kind of uh, off to the races for Bitcoin. Um, but in terms of a trade, I think it's, I have very high confidence that we probably move up to about 30K over the coming days for Bitcoin. So with that being said, I'll keep it moving on to Coinbase. So for Coinbase here, we have jumped obviously in reaction to this grayscale news. And I want to make one point here. So as prices have been slumping, we've seen volume slump off as well. For those that don't, that don't know, anytime you see a drop in price coinciding with a drop in volume, it usually tells you that selling pressure is slowing down and we could get a re reversal and we could see that price trend reverse and obviously move higher. That looks like what we are getting here for coinbase so we're coming up to test this 85 dollar resistance level which is where shares had topped out in march and in february um, so really going to be on the lookout for this 85 dollar level if we're able to close a daily candle above this level i do think it's very likely that we will see a move up to about 115 bucks which is where shares had topped out in june of this year it's also where shares had topped out in august of last year so as long as we're able to take over this resistance level at 85 dollars i do believe we see a larger move higher up to about 115 bucks over the coming weeks and then with that being said let's take a look at crypto company crypto miner marathon digital holdings so marathon is jumping off this 150 day moving average and is actually up 28 percent on the day which is a massive move um, same thing here with with similar to coinbase we've seen prices drop as volumes have slumped and anytime you see prices drop and volumes are dropping as well that just implies we could get a trend reversal in terms of price and a, obviously that, that would equal a move higher in the stock price. And that's what we're getting here. So we actually just moved back over the about $13 re resistance level, which is where shares had topped out in April. It's also where we saw some consolidation last year in the fall and the summer. Um, so I, I do think the fact that we closed above this level is a very good sign for the stock. And I could see a quick move up to about $15.40 over the coming weeks for Mara assuming there isn't any massive you know sell-off throughout the market um, so that's kind of what i'm seeing for mar is a nice quick move from 13 up to about 1550 for the stock and then with that being said let's take a look at riot so i actually called this one out um over the weekend actually um so this $10.50 level has acted as firm support over the past couple months. We can see here significant support in the summer and the spring. Um, so I thought that this level would hold. It has held. Obviously, we got the bullish news today, uh, which obviously helped out my thesis. <laughs> um, but same thing here. Just like Coinbase, just like Mara, we've seen prices drop as volumes have slumped. And anytime you see prices drop in volume slump, that just means we could see a price trend reversal. And that's what we're seeing today with a massive jump in volume. Uh, and in, in terms of a, sh of a price prediction, I, th I think it's likely we can move up to about $14 resistance level, which is where shares had topped out in April on the 23rd. Um, so I do think we could see a move back up to resistance at about 14 bucks over the coming days and then more longer term you know if we're able to overtake this 14 dollar level i do think it is likely that we would see a move back up to test the 52 week highs at about 20 dollars and 60 cents this is where shares had topped out on the 14th of july it's also where shares had topped out in february of last year and we've, we've seen significant consolidation around that level so i do th think if we're able to overtake this 14 dollars resistance level i do think we move up to 20 bucks and 60 cents over the coming weeks for this stock so a lot we just covered in that video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe also you can always let me know what tickers you would like me to cover just let me know in the comments i always cover that for my subscribers so with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video i will end it there
If you got some value from this video, please leave a like. We post company breakdowns and important market moving news on this channel on a daily basis, so make sure you are subscribed. If you would like to receive my daily portfolio moves, my exits, my entries, and see how me and my team of analysts are trading the markets, join the Discord through the link in the description below to get our free 7-day trial. Also, if you would like to join our free daily newsletter, sign up to our Substack, which is linked below as well. With that being said, good luck everyone, happy trading, happy investing.